Hello everyone, this is Robin and welcome back to our channel, The Denny's Family. In today's video, I'm going to tackle about the first step to do in filing the petition for U.S. Spousal Visa. So, I'm going to be talking about the immigrant visa process. Do you have a foreign family member that you wanted to bring to U.S. so they can live with you? We will discuss further what to do and how to process it. So, step one, you will need to submit a petition. Who are the qualified persons for this petition? Immigrating based on family. If you, a U.S. citizen, have a foreign spouse, parents, and children, you can file for them an immigrant visa petition to live with you in U.S. A U.S. lawful permanent resident can only file a petition for foreign spouse and unmarried son or daughter. You should submit Form I-130, a petition for alien relative, on behalf of your foreign family member with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS. This petition is required to file in the U.S. Filing outside the U.S. is limited. Check the U.S. CIS website for the address where you can file properly your petition in the U.S. Before you can begin with the immigrant visa process, your petition must be approved first by the U.S. CIS. What is Form I-130? This is the correct form you are going to file in behalf of your foreign family member. This form shows the family relationship that exists between you and your foreign relative. You will need to complete the form neatly and accurately. Do not forget to sign the petitioner's signature part. This is the first step to do in order to help your foreign family member immigrate to U.S. Download this form at the USCIS website and be updated with the correct edition of the form. You will need to print out the instructions too for your guide in completing the form. Print the form on one side only. The filing fee for this form is $535. Please check the USCIS website for the increase of the fee. You must file a separate form I-130 for each eligible foreign family member. How do I file? If your foreign family member lives in another country, you may file the petition with a USCIS lockbox based on your place of residence. If your foreign family member is already in the U.S. entered legally, then they may be able to file an I-485 application to adjust their status to lawful permanent resident at the same time as you file the Form I-130. How to file for IR-1 or CR-1 visa? A guide and tips for Form I-130 petition for alien spouse. Today, I am going to explain here how to file for a spousal visa, often called IR-1 or CR-1. What is the difference between the two? The IR-1 is for immediate relative where the marriage already lasted more than two years when entering U.S. Otherwise, it will be called CR-1, means conditional. When you file for the petition and just been married for less than two years or when your foreign spouse enters U.S. with immigrant visa while you've been married less than two years, the green card will be conditional, meaning your foreign spouse will receive two years green card that needs to be removed the conditional status within 90 days before the expiration or before the two-year anniversary of your spouse's entry into the U.S. Whatever, all you need to do is to file the petition first to be approved so you can apply for the visa processing. Here are the important steps you can make to get started. The steps in filing Form I-130, the preparation. First, you as a sponsor or petitioner should download the Form I-130 at the USCIS website, including the instructions on how to fill out the form for your guide to avoid error. And you should include the Form I-130A, which is the supplemental information for the spouse beneficiary. Second, prepare your forms together with the required evidences. So what are the evidences? First is the evidence of U.S. citizenship, lawful permanent residence, or U.S. national status. Second, evidence of family relationship. Third is evidence of the bona fides of the marriage. And lastly, the evidence of termination of any prior messages. The third step, Prepare also your proof of legal name change if you change your name or use many aliases. Fourth, prepare two passport-style photographs. And fifth, prepare $535, money order or check. So what are the primary documents for petitioner? The documents are the Xerox of the following. Birth certificate, passport photographic page, marriage certificate with English translation, if not in English, termination of prior marriage like divorce decree. Evidences for bona fides of the marriage. So these are the evidences. Communication through mails, cards, posts or emails before and after marriage. Joint ownership of property. List showing common residence. 
combined documents of financial resources, birth certificates of children born to you and your spouse, photos together before and after marriage with friends and family, affidavits of third parties having personal knowledge of the bona fides of the marriage, and any papers like tickets, hotel bookings that show your trips together. I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. I put some links on the description box below. If this is helpful, please share it to others. Check the videos that I included in the description box below, which are related to this video uh, about importing to US. So if you have questions, please leave at the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much. Bye.